All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Dark Exile, which is a mod that allows you to play Star Wars Dark Forces in 1080p, 2K, on modern computers like on Windows 10. All right, so the first thing is to make sure you have a nice, fresh install of Dark Forces. So you can see mine here. I'll be doing this with the Steam version of the game, but this also works with the GOG version. As far as I know, it doesn't work with the origin version of Dark Forces. There may be some way around that, but I don't know what it is. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up a browser. We're gonna go to this address. We're gonna go here to the Excel Engine Releases 02 page. We're gonna go down here on the right side under Download Options. We're gonna click on Zip and download that. Once you've got that zip file already downloaded, just go ahead and open it up right here and just click on it and open it. If it isn't there in your browser thing, you can just go to your downloads folder, it'll be there. All right, so with that downloaded, now you just need to navigate to where your Dark Forces game is installed. For me, that's on that's Steam Apps Commons. Open up Dark Forces right here. And right here in the Dark Forces thing, we're gonna go ahead and just select all of this stuff. We're just gonna drop it all right in here. So the next thing we need to do is go and get open AL. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go to our browser. We're gonna go to openal.org. And on this page here, we want the second one. We want open AL 1.1 Windows installer. Go ahead and click on that. And once it's downloaded, go ahead and open that zip file. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just drag this into our dark forces directory. So it's right there. We're gonna go ahead and just double click on the oalins.exe right here. Go ahead and double click on that. Windows phrase out, just go ahead and click yes. And here we are with the installer. Just go ahead and click okay. Pop up comes up, okay again. Okay, we're good on that front. The next thing we need to do is just need to double click on this XL engine launcher.exe right here. Let's go ahead and run that. And once we're in here, we just need to click on dark forces over here on the left side. And here it says game data path. Now what you need to do here is you need to click browse and point this to your dark forces game. For me, this is Steam apps common dark forces and the folder we want to select we want this folder right here game so go ahead and select game click okay we're good there now we can go ahead and hit escape up here in the top right and close that now to be on the safe side we're going to go ahead and right click on this file right here dark xl.exe and go to properties we're going to go to compatibility we're going to click right here and run this program in compatibility mode for windows xp service pack 2. now we're good for dark xl you can play it right now, you can go in there, you can play it in 1080p, 2K, whatever you want, and you can play through the game. And we could just end right there, but we're not going to. We're gonna go and actually install another fix just to make it run better. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our browser again. We're gonna go to this link, which is a OneDrive. And here on OneDrive, we're gonna go ahead and click on darkxlfix.bin.zip. So go ahead and click on that once and it will download. Once it's downloaded, you can go ahead and click on it up here. Now, what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to extract both files from this archive into three different locations. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna first extract both of them into our dark forces directory. So go ahead and select both of these and just drag them right here into our dark forces directory. And just to save us later on, and this is just a recommendation, you don't have to do this, it'll work fine without doing this, but this is just a recommendation, is go ahead right here on the darkxlfix.ini, and we're gonna go ahead and just double click this and open it in Notepad. And here under reset on map change, we're gonna go ahead and set all of these under reset to false. And the reason we're gonna do this is that this will make it so that when you start a new map, you don't have maximum ammo, maximum health, and so on. This is a nice feature that he included in this fix, but we're just not gonna use it. So go ahead and change all those to false. It should look like this when you're done. Go ahead and save this. Go ahead and exit that. Now we need to put those two files in two more directories. So go ahead and select these files. Select the d3d9.dll and the darkxlfix.ini and go ahead and copy those. And we are going to go ahead and open this folder here called DOSBox. Paste both of those files in there like so. See them both here. And we're gonna go back up a level and we're gonna go into game. So right here, game, double click that, paste both files again. So they're both in here like this. And there we go. That's all we have to do. Dark XL is installed. The fixes are installed. We're ready to play the game. So let's go ahead and give it a try. There it is, Dark Forces. Beautiful Dark Forces, the way it's meant to be played. And there we go. Absolutely beautiful.